Hi everyone. Today we are going to present a video on positive thinking by Dr. Robert Anthony. What is positive thinking? What influences for positive things? Knowing the truth sets you free. Always seek to know the truth about any situation in which you are involved. Look behind your present belief system and ask, what is the truth about this? Then get out of the way and open yourself up to the answer your greater self or true self will always reveal it to you if and when you are ready to hear it when you act upon that truth your life will change exponentially every situation you are involved in will resolve itself perfectly why because you are aligned with reality you have gone beyond positive thinking or negative thinking the aim of all great teachers since the beginning of time has been to awaken us to the fact that we create our own reality more importantly they have taught us that we are responsible for how we feel about everything that happens in our lives this includes both the positive and the negative if we believe that someone something outside of ourselves is the cause of our problems we will continue to look outside of ourselves for the solution in order to find the true answer or solution to any problem we must begin by looking at ourselves in a new way which will cause us to see people and events in a new way the outer world is in many ways a reproduction of our inner world you must realize this how many troubled people do you know who have not given the slightest attention to this fact amount of determination no amount of will power inspiration or motivation will solve our problems if we look outside of ourselves for the answer the law of attraction everything comes to us by the most elemental law of physics like attracts like this is called the law of attraction the law of attraction like all natural laws operates with mathematical exactitude it is impartial and impersonal which means it works when you want it to and when you don't want it to no one lives beyond this law from floating off into space you also do not need to know the mechanics of how the law of attraction works for it to function in your life you may not have realized it until now but everything you experience in your life is invited attracted and created by you that may not be good news if your life is not the way you would like it to be at the present moment it is an irrefutable law as real as the law of gravity before the law of gravity was identified nobody knew it existed and yet everyone was still affected by it such is the case with the law of attraction most people are unaware of the mechanics of how it works and yet everyone is still affected by it you don't need to know the mechanics of how the law of gravity works to keep yourself unfortunately we have become highly gifted masters at attracting an overabundance of circumstances that we would rather not have in our lives using the law of attraction mind attracts whatever is familiar to itself the frightened mind attracts frightening experiences a confused mind attracts more confusion the abundant mind attracts more abundance since we attract what we focus on it makes good sense to become aware of the subconscious thought patterns that control our lives playing the game of life You see life is a game some people play the game of struggle some people play the game of poverty some play the game of being right all the time on the other hand some people play the game of happiness abundance and health It just helps to understand that each individual plays a game that he or she sets up and that no one game is necessarily better than another If the game were not bringing us some sort of pay off we would stop playing it look at your own life 
try to see the secret satisfaction that you get out of not being fully in charge of your life. What kind of secret satisfaction could there possibly be in feeling victimized? How could anyone enjoy feeling weak or poor or inadequate? The answer is in the payoff. Example, if you play the weak game, others will have to love you, take care of you and protect you. It is the ultimate way to get attention. If you play the game of being undecided all the time and let other people decide for you, then you are protected from blame if you make a mistake. In other words, if you keep both hands tied behind you, then you can expect something to take care of you. In playing the helpless game, you are actually controlling others. The power of powerless people is remarkable. Changing from the inside out. We need to remind ourselves and every individual on this planet that we can and must change the world from the inside out. We have overwhelming proof that the outside world in approach does not work. The long-term solution to war, poverty, lies in our ability to understand ourselves first and then change the world. Our major illusion is that we can build a society that functions on a higher psychological and spiritual level than our present level of awareness. Many people urge us to work for a better society or a better world. This is a great error. Since we cannot create anything higher than our own level of consciousness, society as a whole doesn't get much better. Society systems for social change only add a new burden on top of an old burden. Our overwhelmed mind has no idea what to do with all the social schemes thrusted upon us. But in our desperation to make things better, it forces us to try to make sense out of nonsense. The problem is that we try to right the world's wrongs from the outside in. We attempt to reform the outside world by forcing outer conditions to change. Unfortunately, this outside in approach is doomed to failure because we are dealing with the effect instead of the cause. The only way we can heal the world is to heal ourselves first. This is not a new message, but I think we need to remind ourselves of how we participate in creating our reality through the law of attraction. We either consciously or unconsciously attract everything that comes into our lives. Whatever anyone has done to us, we have participated in it and are at some level responsible for it. In true essence, we are not just victims but also volunteers. This is a hard pill to swallow but unless we accept at least 50% responsibility for everything that happens in our lives, we are powerless to change it. Unfortunately, we have become a culture of blamers. Yet, if your wristwatch shows the wrong time, what would you do about it? Would you ask other people to set their watch according to yours or would you correct your watch? Unfortunately, we do not make similar corrections when our lives are not working. Instead, we insist that reality should conform to our illusion. Starting point of change is acknowledging that our thoughts and beliefs drive our experiences. If we want a new experience, we have to challenge our current beliefs. Even if our ego is threatened, whatever we want something new in our lives, we must let go of any beliefs that stand between where we are now and where we want to be. When we open ourselves up to a new understanding of how life works, our circumstances will begin to change automatically. I hope all of you have liked this video. If you want similar videos to be posted on our channel, Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.